Hello, it's Sarah from Heart Cover Hearts coming to you with a very belated, very belated uh, catch and release video. I think it's been a few months since I've done one of these and my apologies. Uh, I was reminded of these when I was at the BookTube Prize meetup last weekend and we were talking, myself and other creators, were talking about what is what is some content that, that seems to do well? And how do people think about content? How, how do they think about the content that they're creating? Um, and everyone said that hauls are just incredibly popular. And I remembered that I it had been a while since I had done one of these. And for me, it's much, it's much less about the haul as it is the process of the haul and the release. So I call them catch and release. What did I get? But then in order to uh, live comfortably in my one bedroom apartment, I need to release something. And so what does that trade-off look like and how am I making that trade-off? So I'm trying to expose that um, as, as we go through this. So I, I made a big mistake this week and I took three bags full of, of books to trade uh, for credit at one of my local bookstores, Mo's, which is fanta a fantastic bookstore. And I realized this morning, like, oh, wait a minute, I didn't document any of those. I didn't, I didn't do anything. So I'll try to be better about making this a more regular uh, occurrence. But in the meantime, let's just jump right in and I'll show you the books I caught and then what I'm going to be releasing. Uh, believe it or not, there were still things to release that didn't make that, that initial three bag cut. This is Axiomatic by Maria Tamarkin. This, this is an Australian writer. I found out about this book because of Jacqueline for Six Minutes from Me. She does amazing content about writers that are coming out of Australia, contemporary writers, a lot of the Australian prizes. And this was up for the shortlisted for the Stella Prize. So when I found out there was gonna be an event at my favorite bookstore, I of course needed to go. I found her incredibly interesting, very thoughtful. Um, this is a nonfiction book, really looking at uh, trauma and what does trauma mean? And very interesting parallel that just dawned on me. Uh, something that happened in Happiness, which I just finished reading and talked about in my week of reading wrap up. In Happiness, they talk about how not every trauma destroys you. Um, it will leave an impact, but that impact isn't always uh, damage. Sometimes it's, it strengthens. And so maybe looking at new ways of discussing trauma. So I thought that was quite interesting. Very excited. And uh, she, also, she also signed it, which I thought was quite, quite lovely. Um, so thrilled, thrilled with that. Another event that I went to that came with a book, I did a, a vlog about this. This was Patti Smith's release for Year of the Monkey. She did a City Arts and Lecture conversation with Dan Stone, who is a local uh, journalist, and it was a fantastic one. I'll put a link to my video talking all about it below, uh, but very happy to have the book. Then, uh, let's see, what's the next? next? I'm trying to think in, in order. Uh, so we went to the booktube meetup and Robert had a few extra things that he asked if, if any of us were interested in. And so I was lucky enough to get Fresh Water by Azueki Amezi. I have not read this yet. I know it's incredibly controversial, so I'd like to check it out and form my own opinion. So uh, thank you, Robert, for this one. And he also... Uh, gave me something that was has been in a lot of conversation recently because of uh, Latinx Heritage Month, and that is Dominicana by Angie Cruz. I just love this cover, so nice. So really excited to to get into this one as well. I don't know when I'll have a chance to to read that. Then when we did a bookstore crawl. Uh, the very first bookstore that we went to had this book, Jacqueline Woodson's Red at the Bone. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's a, a signed first edition. This is by Quail Ridge Books, uh, was where we bought this at, which was a fantastic bookstore. So very excited to get this and also an autographed copy of... Franking Kiss by Jeanette Witterson. This one was up for the Booker. Look at the, uh, Kendra and I were both 
ooing and aahing over that that uh, awesome end papers. Just fantastic. So really excited by those two. And then in our bookstore crawl that we did, I found these two books. Uh, this one is Strike Your Heart by Amelie Nothom. Uh, this is something that Jacqueline said was very, very good. And she thought that I would like this. I've never read any of her, any of her work. It says it here on the back that Strike Your Heart is a Madame Bovary of the 1970s. So, well, that's exciting. And then I found uh, Nancy Mitford to add to my collection. This is Madame de Pompadour. So happy about that. And let me think, what other things? Oh, so, and then when we got back, uh, oh, one other, one other thing. Kendra had a bunch of arcs and, and the like that she was getting rid of. And she gave it to, gave us all an opportunity to, to, to do a, do a share and, and grab some. So I have not read this. Uh, this is The Snow Child by Eowyn Ivy. I read her other book and I liked it very, very much. I forget the name of it. I'll put a link to it at the, at the below. So that's supposed to be fantastic. Then uh, with my credits that I received from selling my books back, I sold a couple uh, signed copies of some things. So I ended up getting a ton of credit, credit at Moe's. I found these things. This is Victorine by Maud Hutchins. And this is a coming age uh, kind of uh, sexual exploration, coming of age story that looks fantastic. Then I keep hearing about this. I think Simon of Simon Savage was raving on and banging on about this. So I thought I would try it. I also found a stunning copy of this uh, this cloth bound uh, penguin. I only buy these used. I won't allow myself to buy them new. So it's like a kind of fun, fun adventure for me to see if I can find them. This is Dickens' uh, Oliver Twist. And see, the spine hasn't even been opened. I don't even think it's been opened. Just completely, completely brand new, uh, but used. So someone sold it back. And then oh, I found a Folio Society edition. Robert, look what I have. Um, so. Robert um, from Barter Hortz was, and I were talking about how he has some Folio Society and he has some of these. This is Under the Greenwood Tree by Thomas Hardy. I haven't read this one, uh, but I really loved Far From the Maddening Crowd. So I'm hoping this is good. And again, hasn't even been cracked open, completely new. A map, just yay. So thrilled with those four finds and I didn't pay anything because it was just trade. So. The catch and release was working for me. And this just came. This is my book of the month uh, option for this month. And this is the new ta Coats. This is his fiction book that just came out. I had skipped last month because I didn't find anything that I wanted. Let me show you this. But that cover looks amazing and I'm really, fingers crossed, I, I hope I like this one. The Water Dancer by Tan Hasi Coates. So looks like I have a ton here. Okay, so let me show you what I'm going to be getting rid of. Uh, despite loving this, I just don't have room. Uh, this was the Georgette Hayer, Death in the Stocks. Oh, it hurts my heart because look at that cover. It's so beautiful. Uh, but I, I don't reread mysteries and I live in a one bedroom apartment. <laughs> So something's gotta go. Next up, I had this copy of the Pickwick Papers, Pickwick Papers, which was great until I found my Pam McMillan little beautiful copy. So I'm going to sell this back. because I mean, that's a lot of book room right there. Um, I also um, have this Animals Strike Curious Poses that was a gift and I keep trying to open it, but I realize that it's a little too whimsical for me. So I am going to release this into the world so someone else can enjoy it. And then lastly, uh, another book I really liked, but a room is, 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 a, is a, a precious commodity here at, in my house. 
Uh, so Walking One Step at a Time by Erling Keg. Uh, this is a beautiful meditation on walking. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, the author wrote Silence, so I think I'd like to check out Silence as well. But again, no space, gotta go. So that's it. Uh, that's my most recent catch and release. Uh, I'll try to do these more frequently. And uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.